Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to episode two of Submit Your Right. First of all, I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys that has taken part of this new episode of Generation Old School. We have gotten so many submissions that it is almost impossible to pull all those clips into one single video. Otherwise, the video will be extremely long. If you guys like this video, please give it a like. Stay home, enjoy this content. If you guys are like me, and like old school cars. I hope you guys are enjoying this video as much as I enjoy putting it together for you guys. If it is your first time passing by the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If it is your first time here, leave a comment down below and I will say hi to you personally on my next episode. With that being said, stay home, be safe, and enjoy this video. This is 54 Bella. She's a 54 Chevy Bel original grill with extra teeth, French headlight. She's been converted from a V6 to a V8 because she's got a 350 motor, board over 60 with an upgraded cam, 350 transmission, Dayton wire wheels, pinstriping done by McDonald's pinstriping. It has custom diamond touch upholstery. It also has cab lights and variegated leafing. 56 Packer tail lights with a Buick rear bumper. Accu air ride suspension. Fully loaded by Hillview Customs. Front to back, side by side, and pancake. Four leaf C knot. She also has a patterned flake rooftop, also done by Metcalfe Pinstriping. She has French candles. Of both worlds. She's a one of a kind. A little bit of a split, a little touch of a Here's our other car. 62 Chevy Impala. Completely restored from the frame up. Right in the 520s. Eight wire wheels. It's got the small, small glass. Black top. You don't see this too often. With a charcoal gray in the bottom. This Apollo is fully loaded. Let's get the backyard suspension, also done by Hillview Customs. Custom air cleaners. Put the air cleaner head. The name on there. This is an AC car. All their products. As you can see, it's cold in this baby. Here you have them. 54 Bella. 62 songs. His and hers.
So here's my 1937 Chevy pickup truck. I call it the Dirty 37. This truck belonged to my grandpa. And he bought it in 1974. And in 2013, he gave it to my brother. And my brother, he passed in 2015. But he had bought the engine, transmission, suspension, and everything for the truck. So after he passed away, I built it the way he wanted it built. To keep this patina, put the air suspension, and he bought a inline six, it's a 292. It's a, a lot of Clifford parts in it. It goes pretty good. There's a full air ride suspension, four wheel disc, original advertising for the business that it previously was. Wood bed, just cheap plywood from Home Depot. And in that box, I have my battery and my gas tank. Underneath, here's the air system. You can see the four link. Compressor up there. Another one over there. That's a Dana 44 rear end out of it, a Suzu Rodeo. Here we can get a look at the engine over here. This grill is from a J.C. Whitney catalog from the 1980s, I believe. LED headlights. The inline six with the Edelbrock carb. Running a 700R4 overspeed transmission. See the custom steering linkage here. Going down to the manual rack and pinion. I've currently been working on the interior. It's not quite finished yet, but it's coming along. I just put in the carpet. Still working on the headliner. The bench seats from a Dodge Caravan, the third row. There's the air ride control and a radio for a bow. So let me turn it on and I'll air it down. You can hear my electric fan. And here's what it looks like aired out. These are the original 16 inch wheels that would have came on the truck, but I have Coker radials, so it rides like a modern car. Tail lights are from a 37 Chevy car, they're LED. So pretty much everything on the truck is brand new, except the body. Engine, transmission, suspension, brakes, fuel system, everything is new. Almost everything had to be custom done. Hardly anything is stock, except the body. It took 80 years to make it look like this, so why should I mess it up? What's up, Generation Old School? This is Backyard Rods and Customs. This is my 1947 Dodge Fargo. It's got a blueprinted and built small block 350 and 700R4 automatic transmission. Uh, the front has been Z'd and the rear has been C-notched, running a parallel four link and a Watts link on the rear, behind the rear end. Um, we went ahead and redid all the chrome and copper. And uh, let's see, we've got some 18s on the front, 20s on the rear, coys. Uh, clearly the truck lays body. <laughs> all natural patina, raised bed floor, Little interior view, got some tunes, low car shifter, we went ahead and cut a foot out of the bed and rewalded it back together to shorten it into a short bed. All the air ride suspension is AccuAir with Slam Specialties bags. 
Everything is located just behind the hatch. Appreciate the love y'all show. That pretty much sums it up, y'all. Hey, my name is Alan Blankenship. This is my 1986 Chevy Custom Deluxe. We call it Farmer Tan. It's custom four length in the rear, bagged all the way around. Uh, Michigan Metal Works control arms in the front, sitting on the uh, Transit 22s, full custom badges, OEM hubcaps. Went for more of a simple farm truck looking style. The bumper guards on the front. I have the tray five bed mounts on the back, lifted up, keep that factory look. On the inside, I have a 23 inch low car floor shifter retro sound stereo pretty simple on the inside more of a basic look under the hood have the wham rod hood struts chevy 350 full roller trick flow aluminum heads victor jr high rise master cylinder. I have a monster built transmission 700 R4 and in the back I have a 12 bolt with posi and 411 gears. For the exhaust went with a X pipe and Black Widow race venoms. So my grandpa bought this truck brand new off the lot and uh, I'm youngest of four boys and it was all of our first vehicles and uh, I actually took my driver's test in this truck. So it's basically been part of the family for a long time. Hey guys, my name is Isaac Sim. I'd like to share with you guys some information about our 1949 Chevrolet pickup truck we have here. This truck has a 454 with a mother thumper cam, turbo 350, power steering, power brakes, good running, great all around cruiser. Father started building it in the early 90s, has a 78 Camaro front clip. The rear from the cab back is an S10, has an eight inch notch triangulated four link the fuel cell and air tank is in the rear also has tubs so that we could hide everything and then the floor is down around the original height has 17 by 8 ion wheels all the way around just got her finished happy with the way she sets and uh, the way it rides couldn't be happier with it thanks to my father and I we were able to get that finished been in the family now since the early 90s. My father uh, hit a deer with it, started putting her back together, he finished it. My wife and I drove it in our wedding. Once we moved back to Georgia, he uh, gave the truck to us and um, it's just been a blessing to the both of us and our family. So inside is pretty much all stock. Just gauges, long throw shifter, Little Moon Eyes uh, gas pedal, wooden steering wheel, older interior that he had done in it, still love it, fits the old truck, flat floor, no tunnel, air ride controls, put the truck back together, drove it in our wedding, uh, did a real quick paint job on her, this is a Audi Nadar Gray, I think it just kind of sets it off with the wheels, all the chrome, 454, turbo 350, just a great running all around vehicle, power steering, power brakes. One last thing I also like to show you guys is he built my daughter a little wagon. This was originally my wagon when I was a kid. 
She uh, stretched it out, put a little interior in it, put her some big wheels on it, and uh, now she gets to enjoy her little hot rod when we go to the shows. Once again, thank you to Generation Old School for letting us uh, show our passion and show our vehicles. And uh, hope you guys liked it. Stay safe. And uh, can't wait to get back out on the show season. Thank you, guys. What's up, guys? Today we're in Alvin, Texas. My name's Jose, a.k.a. El Chavo. And this is my 1985 Chevy C10 aka old baby blue she's got a uh, she's riding on uh, air suspension custom control arms from chassis fab stock 305 350 transmission 22 by 9 detroit steel wheel del rays all around that's a nason Baby blue with metallic paint job. Interior is pretty stock. Bed floor was raised eight inches. I'm running nitrogen and using compressors as a backup. I was going for the stock look, but just on the ground. Hope y'all like it. Well guys, and that's it for episode two of Submit Major Ride. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more, let me know in the comments down below. And for every single one of you guys that has submitted your ride and you didn't get to see it in this episode, stay tuned. It's probably gonna be on episode three. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if I was to put every single clip that you guys have sent me into one, the video will be extremely long. And for that reason, I'm dividing it into sessions. If it is your first time passing by the channel, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. And also leave a comment down below letting me know which truck was your favorite. Keep on sending videos to generation underscore old school at hotmail.com. See you guys on the next one. Bye.